Welcome to another edition of Live with Suzy. I'm very pleased and honored to be talking to Dr. Ali Asadi, who is an author and management professor and business coach. It's a pleasure having him today in our show, speaking about his latest book called 1000 Tips and Tools that's been published in 2020. And um, let's start our conversation since it's a short interview. And... Um, I'm sure you have heard of him if you are in business, small business, if you are an HR manager, if you're in marketing, and um, if you want to know what to do in order to become more effective uh, in your business, you would know Dr. Ali Asadi by now, I'm sure. And if you don't, it's a good opportunity to get to know him more. Dr. Asadi, welcome to the show and thanks for the time uh, to talk to us and our followers. Hi, Suzy. Thanks for having me. It's my honor Absolutely. to be here. It's a pleasure having you on our show, and uh, I'm so delighted to learn from you, as always, and find out more and more uh, what is it that you do to help the entrepreneurs and business people, whether they have small businesses, big corporations, to become more effective and more successful, especially nowadays with these coronaviruses that has affected us all individually or as uh, business owners um, to help us out any which way possible. So your work is very well uh, uh, appreciated and here we are to learn more from you. First of all, congrats about your latest book, 1000 Tips and Tools, um, and tell us about it. We're all ears, Dr. Asadi. Thank you. Uh, as we know, small businesses uh, play an important role in the United States and all countries' economy. And, but unfortunately, the, the rate of success is very low based on some statistics by Small Business Administration, which is a governmental institution. Only one third of a small businesses can survive more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, external situations like this COVID-19 also affected small businesses more than large corporations and uh, that's why uh, i decided to write this book 1000 tips and tools for small business success mm -hmm. which is a complete handbook for small business owners uh, and uh, the, in this book i talked about 100 topics each topic includes uh, 10 tips and also tools and resources and uh, quotes from successful people and uh, which uh, includes uh, successful business people and uh, in general this book is very helpful and can work as a manual mm -hmm. for small business owners that they can refer to again and again in about uh, whatever they need in business in their businesses so basically what I take it is from the size of a very small company and business owner to big corporation can all benefit from your latest publication, which is 1000 Tips and Tools. Yeah, because uh, some topics okay. are uh, common and mm -hmm. all managers and business owners can use it. And some of them are specifically for small business owners. Okay. And tell me, because I know from your other books that you've written uh, more than 10 books already and ebooks and been purchased in 78 countries, is this book in English and other languages also are coming up or they're all in English and everyone can use it? Yeah, actually, uh, it's in English. and But one of my books uh, had been translated to Arabic a couple of years ago. That is that right? Book. 
Yeah, they invited me to Dubai for a conference, and also they got permission to translate that book, which was The Golden Rules of Human Resource Management mm -hmm. to Arabic. But uh, all of my books are in uh, English, and uh, I also have uh, the audio version of them that they can people can purchase from audible.com. Oh, that's perfect. That's a really good idea. Now, back to what you actually teach in your uh, seminars or you used to, how did this COVID-19 affected that? Because I know, obviously, nowadays, due to that problem, a lot of conferences and seminars have been postponed or canceled. Therefore, uh, virtual tours or webinars have taken place instead. How does that affect you? Uh, like other people and businesses, definitely my work also got affected by COVID-19. But uh, mm -hmm. a good point about my job is I can deliver everything virtually. That's why I give consultation and also I have uh, my webinars, you know, through Zoom and other similar uh, platforms. And uh, I, I had a webinar regarding how businesses can survive through COVID-19 a couple of months ago. And during that webinar, I suggested that uh, the small business owners uh, need to have a cash budget mm -hmm. to cut their expenses. And also they need to raise money to be able to survive. And if they want to get out the COVID-19 stronger, they need to develop a system for their businesses. By system, I mean an organized way to conduct their businesses. That's the best opportunity that small business owners can develop a system for their businesses. And uh, they can, this way they can get out uh, the COVID-19 stronger and uh, they will be able to prevent the uh, future damages. I see. Well, that's a great point. Now, the beauty of your work, I have understood, uh, you know, checking your website and part of your webinars um, that I was lucky enough to see and be part of was that the fact that you can actually customize for particular audiences or different group of people with different needs and different companies, because uh, obviously not every company has the same needs and um, help. So, can you talk about that? How how would you actually couture or customize or help different businesses in that regards and give uh, yeah. solutions? Yeah, that's one of the main differences between uh, small businesses and large corporations. That's mm -hmm. the role of small business owners in their businesses because their personalities, their personal goals, uh, and their culture, all these things affect their businesses. That's why if you want to give a consultation to small businesses, a small business, you need to customize it mm -hmm. based on the, the business owner's char characteristics and also the business characteristics. You cannot use the same template for um, all audience and all businesses. That's why I always try to customize my services and also my webinars based on the the people that listen to and also get consultation from me. Right, right. And and, the, and another thing that I like about how you go about this is your very unique way and the strategies you put together and your ideas um, and the way that you make it kind of simple. So most people can follow you and understand you. It's another expertise that you have, uh, which is admirable. Thank you so much. Actually, that's called the power of storytelling. That's one of the best ways to deliver your messages. Uh, and I always try to give examples of, from similar companies, similar people, and also try to make it much more understandable and easy to implement. Because, mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, knowledge is not power. Implementation of knowledge is power. So just... Bravo and get some idea is not enough. You need to be able to implement it effectively and efficiently mm -hmm. to be successful. Right. Uh, well, um, thank you so much for this well put together uh, talk that we've had in a short time period that we have the opportunity to be talking to you. However, I just 
knowing that your book came out recently, I just didn't want to miss the opportunity and not to talk to you. And I thought, I know how busy you are with different things, um, especially during this time, that I wanted to talk to you. If uh, in the last minute or two that we have left for our uh, conversation, you can give a, an advice that most people can benefit from, whether they own a small business or a large corporation, um, what would that be? If you want uh, to sum it up. Sure. Thank you. First of all, thank you again for having me. My uh, pleasure. Your show. And uh, secondly, the, I think it's uh, one of the best timing to learn more and improve your skills if you want to be more successful in, in your profession. And as I said, learning is not enough. You need to implement it. That's why I always recommend people when you read a book, when you attend a webinar, find at least three important things that you can uh, act on it and you can implement it. Because most of us try to read books, but after finishing, we just go to another book and we don't do anything. So as <laughs> I said, taking action is very important. Do not just bombard yourself with a lot of information. Just try to implement whatever you learn. Well said, Dr. Asadi. I'm proud of you as always. And again, thank you, thank you for your time and congrats on 1000 Tips and Tools. And where can people purchase it from, by the way? Actually, they're on Amazon, Bars and Nobles, everywhere. Okay, super. And we have your website on the screen, so people can also check your website out as well. Thanks again for your time and a big thank you to all my listeners. Make sure to watch the show and share it with your friends and people you know as well. Have a Thanks great time. Have a good one.